Today we will consider important issues of the development of the aviation industry. The President has set a large-scale task for the industry to renew the fleet of Russian airlines. Without a doubt, our country needs a modern air fleet based on its own technological solutions and a powerful production base. Its conditions, sanctions, external restrictions, creation of the entire line of domestic equipment necessary for reliable development, connectivity of our regions, and achieving the strategic goal of increasing aviation mobility of citizens by one and a half times by 2030. Of course, for this purpose, new comfortable complexes are also being actively built. The airfield infrastructure is being actively modernized. The air traffic control system is being improved, which contributes to the expansion of the route network. And as a result of domestic flights becoming more convenient for a large number of people in order to ensure the independence of Russian civil aviation, a specialized federal project for the production of airplanes and helicopters was formed. It became part of the National Technological Leadership Project Industrial Support of Transport Mobility, which was launched from the beginning of this year for its implementation. Within six years, it is planned to allocate a total of 765 from the federal budget. Billions of rubles, primarily for the creation of aircraft competitive engines, for the sake of electronic equipment, various technical systems and the entire list of low-capacity equipment. It's really about development. Unique products that have no Russian analogs and the output that needs to be mastered. Of course, here we count on high efficiency and coherence of actions of our scientific centers, design bureaus, industry enterprises and many, many more. 1,000 neighboring companies that are involved in cooperation chains. I will highlight here some key challenges that will have to be overcome by the aviation industry enterprises. First of all, it is necessary to bring to a successful conclusion the experimental design work on all implemented programs. There are preliminary results. In particular, yesterday the operation of onboard radio electronic equipment was successfully tested. During flight tests of our flagship MC-21, a laboratory based on the Yak-40, with an engine took to the air for the first time. The K-800, intended for local communication aircraft, will be installed on the Baikal and Azve aircraft, collaboratively with Belarusians. According to the Ministry of Industry and Tourism, the certification of the updated superjet is expected to be completed no later than December of this year. Most recently, let me remind you, it flew from Komsomolsk on the Amur to Zhukovsky, like regional liner 1 on 14, which we got acquainted with in detail last week while visiting. Burg exhibition and prom. M with 21 Baikal should be ready for launch into series. Accordingly, according to the plans we have for October and December next year, I would like to draw the attention of colleagues. We need to set specific deadlines for each type of aircraft, including import substituted versions of well-known models. This is the TU-214 or 96-300, and just like for our other projects. One of which is Ladoga and Osway. Also for promising helicopters of various classes from the lightest is the Dmitri-4 Ansat K-62, and to the heavy is the Mi-38 and Mi-171. It is important that the final economic and flight technical characteristics of the new Russian equipment correspond to the parameters that would be agreed with the airlines. Another no less serious task is related to the implementation of investment projects to expand production capacities at all enterprises. Cooperation, given the high cost in credit resources to date, to provide systematic support for the construction and upgrading of factory areas Three years ago, the government approved a comprehensive program for the development of the aviation industry until 2030. And taking into account new challenges, it needs to be revised and it is necessary to update the schedule of aircraft deliveries by year based on the specific current situation. I would like to emphasize that we should not allow delays that can hinder the growth of passenger traffic. Secondary tasks. Dear colleagues, I propose to analyze in detail the current status of each project, achieved results as well as existing challenges and develop solutions that will allow us to go to large-scale production of a full cycle of aircraft. 
Our country has sufficient technological potential and all the resources to make a radical breakthrough in the field of aircraft construction as a result to provide our citizens with guaranteed opportunities for convenient, comfortable and safe flights.